previous video, uh, we have seen the architecture of uh, SAP uh, as to how, uh, what are the servers involved as from the client, how do you send the request to the servers and uh, what is this HANA server and all that. Now, in this video, we're going to discuss about how to install this SAP Logon Launchpad. Okay, just to give you as a recap, I would ask this question. Why do you need SAP Logon Launchpad in the first place? Okay, why do we need the SAP Logon Launchpad in the first place? So this architecture diagram is from my previous video and we have spent good 10-15 minutes understanding the architecture of this SAP architect architecture of this SAP. So well, in my previous video in the SAP architecture, you, you could have understand already understand why you need SAP Logon Launchpad. Well, <coughs> So usually to connect to this app server from your client, client is your machine as performance testers machine. Okay. From the client machine, if you have to send a request to this app server, if you have to send a request to this app server, which in turn will send a request to the database server at the later point of time. But from a performance tester point of view, in, in, if you wanted to communicate with the SAP or if you wanted to get some information from the SAP servers, the first request that you would send it to is the app server. And if you want to send the request to the app server, you would need something on your client machine. If this was web, if this was web and you had a web server over here, you could have peacefully opened your Microsoft uh, Internet Explorer or a Google Chrome or a Mozilla Firefox and you could have accessed, you could have logged into this app server and you could have accessed access the app server and the database server by sending the request from the browser. But this is not the web, uh, web world or this is not uh, anything related to web. So you would need, you cannot, now you cannot send the request from the web browser. So you would need something on your client so that you can communicate with these SAP servers. So whatever you would need on your client machine, that software, we call it as SAP Logon Launchpad. In other words, SAP Client. Okay, SAP Logon Launchpad or SAP Client from which, uh, in simple words, SAP Client from which you will be able to send the request to the app server and then the database server back to the SAP Client. So from the Logon Launchpad, you will be able to access the SAP Client from where you will be able to send the request to the SAP, app, SAP servers. So here, even though I'm using the term SAP Logon Launchpad, you can say it's a SAP Client. SAP client. So this is the reason why as a performance tester to connect to this SAP servers, you would need an SAP client, which, uh, which, uh, for which you need to install this SAP logon launchpad. Now I'll show you the steps to install this SAP logon launchpad on your machine, on your machine. So what we are trying to do, we are trying to install this particular thing on the client machine or on the performance testers machine. <coughs> so with this video or with this course, I am uploading this SAP GUI zip file. It is close to one GB file. It's a pretty big file. I've zipped it and I'm making this file available with this course. All you have to do is unzip it. Okay. So you can just right click on this and you say extract, extract here. Oh, no, 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 just, just, just say cancel it. You say extract, okay, extract the files. Make sure you give the right path wherever you want the extract files to be. And once you say just click on okay and it will start extracting. Since I have already extracted, it is showing that would I want it to uh, uh, replace it, you can, I can just say cancel it, okay. So this is what it is. Once you extract, and by the way, to extract this, you need a software called WinRAR. Okay, it's a it's a zipped. We're using the software called WinRAR. You can just I haven't zipped it. I have downloaded it, and it looks like you know by default the SAP is providing this zip with the WinRAR. Okay, so you just need to un unzip it, and once you unzip it, this is the file that you get. Once you unzip it, this is the file that you get. Again, I'm telling you to unzip this. You need a software called WinRAR. It is it is available for free online. You can just say WinRAR, and you say download. Okay, so download free, you should be able to download it. Okay, so <coughs> it's pretty safe to download this, not uh, uh, not that risky. Okay, so once you unzip it, this is the file that you have. And again, I'm telling you, I'm making this file available with this course. 
so once you unzip it just go to go to this sap gui 7 point and this is a 7.4 version keep that in mind as well and then get into this folder get into press 1 and uh, and then gui sap gui is what you wanted to download or install uh, just go to GUI and you are doing it for Windows this is your Windows machine so double click on Windows Win32 uh, so don't worry about 64 bit 32 bit all that you know it will mine is a 64 bit and I am able to install it and it is working fine so don't worry about this folder so once you go here just go to something called setup all double click on that and you see SAP front end installer will start all you have to do is next and then select all of them over here okay just to be on the safe side you wanted to select all of them but what you want is install sap gui desktop icon and chart and sap gui for windows 7.4 okay this is the two things that you wanted but what i have done is i have checked all of them and installed because that's what i have done and it is working so not sure if you uncheck all of that will you have an issue i have not checked into but later after installing after installing i can't uncheck this okay after installing i realized that what all i need is just this one and this one and looks like to work to this to work this needs to be a default as well so um, just go ahead and try with this three and see if it is working fine else you to be on the safe side check all of them okay and just say next and then it will start installing okay it's already this is already installed for me so I need not have to install and know where the cancel button is provided to us by SAP so unfortunately I have to go ahead and complete this installation but since it's already installed I'm not sure you know if it installed successfully you see you know uh, it is install installation of the product failed with two errors because it's already installed but for you the installation should be straightforward and the installation should happen now once the installation is done what is that I wanted to check for to make sure the installation is ready the one that you need to check for is the SAP logon you should be able to see that icon and this Netware business view 6 client 5.0 you, you see these two icons on your desktop okay if this is not appearing on the desktop just go to all programs and just say SAP and you should be able to see SAP logon if you are able to see the SAP logon then the installation is successful so with this SAP logon installation uh, uh, you this is how you do the SAP logon um, or the SAP client installation or SAP logon launchpad so in the next video we will see how we can connect to the SAP servers in the next video what how what we would see is now the installation of this is done so in the next video to communicate with the app servers there are certain steps that you have to do and then we will do that steps in the next video and we'll start communicating with the app server in our next video.